Hello everybody. So today is a good day for me because I did receive the part that I ordered, which is that BW7Z blah blah blah. Uh, pretensioner kit to hopefully uh, fix that airbag light that I've been having in my 06 Lincoln Town Car. So this is everything that came in the box. There's the box. It was very nicely packed. Ton of material in there. This does look like it's, you know, it's genuine as far as I could tell. It's got some stuff here on the side. Got a date code. Got a Ford Washington DC something. So as far as I could tell for 250 bucks, it is legit. Um, which is at least I'm hoping for. And the color, the color is, is correct. So this is everything that came in there. So I've got this cap, assuming it's just a replacement for the one that's already in there. Uh, it does have this piece, so the where it buckles up. Um, it's got some sensor in there. Let's see. It does have some prongs. So obviously there's some sensor in there that communicates with some <laughs> something in the car uh, sorry not a mechanic don't really know what what those names are and then you have this piece that kind of bolts in obviously you have the buckle itself it is the right color combination you have this piece that obviously bolts in uh up above the shoulder and then you have this monstrosity right here which is you know it's not that heavy but it is it is the heaviest part of this which is the actual seed belt um i don't know what that is exactly i don't know if this is a i need to probably remove this and also this is where the belt is coiled up and then it also has uh, a little sensor here for something so again i know you guys that that tinker with your cars a lot more than i do you will know right away what this is i am not that person i enjoy the car i i love driving it i love owning it this, even though it was 250 bucks, I, I don't care. I don't mind getting this thing and getting it replaced. Um, but doing it myself, on the other hand, is obviously not something that I want to do. It did also come with these instructions, and I don't know if these instructions are... You know, I don't know if they're original Ford instructions. I mean, they do have Ford stuff on there. But, you know, they do show kind of how it all connects, which which does make sense. Um, it, let's see. So it does have 2005 and forward model years. Um, it does, you know, the, the one thing that I kind of don't like about it is how crappy it's typed. Like, it's not crisp. It's kind of hard to read. Um, especially here on some of the further pages. It's got three pages worth of instructions. Um, so, like, you know, it's all, like, pixelated. So, I don't know how well this is. So, the bottom line is, and I'm sorry, it's going in and out. Here's that. So, and then it's got the third page instructions right up here. So, it looks simple enough, to be honest with you. Like, just looking at it, it's not rocket science. But at the same time, it's not really something that I will be doing. So what, I, what I'm planning to do is I already called the mechanic. Um, the guy, uh, my family, my, my dad and my brother has been using. And I've been there before. One of my pictures on one of the um, videos is actually in his shop, um, which... I, I will be revisiting. I usually don't go for him for like stuff like oil changes because uh, it's it's quite a bit of a drive for me. But for, for more serious stuff like, you know, brake pads, uh, transmission, a fluid, swap, some of that. And yes, an oil change if needed, I, I will be going uh, to him. And he is a Russian guy too. So I don't know if he will allow me to film at his shop, but I will ask. And maybe it'll be a cool little video about how to you know, I don't know how to replace this part. Uh, and he is a professional mechanic, obviously. He's been in business for probably 15 to 20 years. So, uh, yeah, so there you go. So that's a quick little update. And we will proceed with getting this monstrosity replaced in hopes of that this will turn off that nasty 
light. I'm sorry, I got some dust here that fell out of the box. <laughs> All right, till then, see you next time.